This is the reckoning of a family of apples. A more hypocritical lot you won't find in a chapel. They lie and they cheat, and they aren't quite good. Contemplating dirty, selfish old brood, they keep to, their, to each other their vix and their kinks, like drugs, abuse, sex, and too many drinks. Far past recommendation, redemption, this family of sin. So sit back in your seat. It's about to begin. Apple Bloom lies face down in gutters. From within her belly, her intestines do sputter. Her coat, I fear, has turned a dull green. Probably from days without being seen. Whoever did it has taken her hair. But for what purpose speak I not dare? Her family won't mind because they of their greed. She just one less mouth to feed. They have to feed. And Goldie has gathered all, all her cats. They feast on her body because she has passed. She was old, deranged, and is exceedingly frail. And remarkably to them, she tasted much like quail. The reason, I guess, might have be a stroke. Or the wrong pony to which she could have mispoked. Stroke or stroke, the last from a cane. To her, no difference because she is slain. Apple strudel, a chief, had a queer taste. Ice cream and pie with flesh. It was laced. What kind, no matter, he didn't care. From whence it came, it mattered not where. The rarer, the better, he used to state until his pink slab arrived on his plate. Later the night his tummy is, it squirms, and he died the next morning from par of parasitic worms. Babs was picked on because she was large. They said she was roughly the size of a barge. She left for a while to spend time with the bumpkins, but returned just a as bloated and fat as a pumpkin. Her new resolve, however, began to grow thin when bullies pointed out her new double chin. From her roof one day, she looked down at the street. She leapt and squalled and met the concrete. Brayburn fell slowly, solemnly into depression after a train on him made an impression. You see, he knew he should refrain from falling asleep on the tracks of a train. Some say it was caused by a rough bout of liquor, caused by his mare friend with which he did bicker, regardless of why he now feels a drage, because he has lost all four legs of his legs. An apple or not, it's hard to ignore the pink party pony, who is never a bore. She's even more we wired, though she confines by doctors who claim that she's out of her mind. Drugs have all failed to claim the poor deer, and options are short. They collectively fear. The only one left to cure the insane is to pop her head open and remove some of her brain. Applejack impatiently waits for the end of the ever-long week, so time she may spend in a town far away where she no her name is not known, to quench the lust, which she can't kill alone. Dressed all in leather, which is tightly brown bound, she wriggles her rump for strangers to pound. She loses herself in the act with which depraves, and conducts herself as a harlot, a slut, and a slave. Granny Smith sits alone in her room, patiently waiting for the day she of her doom, Arthritis has taken most of her joints, and she arches, and she aches, and she aches up to the point, with perhaps taking a mouthful of pills might relieve her of most of her pain, might relieve her of most of her ills, but she can't do it. To her charge in, they were taken and sold for money again. Apple run... Rum raisins pimped out her sister, 
from money or items to any old mister. Sometimes she watches, filled with sick lust, and told the poor saying, we all do what, as we must. But the tra tables were turned, her sister incensed, taking control and sharing justice dispensed. The rum raisin lives in a box, a pleasurable gimp. Her sister, the master, the owner, the, uh, the pimp. Apple cream cheese was a talented thief of wallets from owners. He gave a quick relief. Sometimes he, he burglared, stole all the, their jewels. But if he was seen, he could be quite cruel. He stabbed one poor stallion, making the news. Unfortunately, the time he left a few clues. He was soon gathered, tried without respect, and shortly after had separated from Neck. The, uh, a young and spryly apple was apple tart, full of spice and life, the young upstarter. At least until met she, a brutish old rake, whose innocence, youth, and life he did take. When finished, he left her lying alone in copse, and covered with hundreds of tiny bread drops. A warm hunt, haunt for maggots, a feast for the bugs. They live in the unmarked grave he had dug. Auntie Orange and Apple by marriage told all her friends she had a miscarriage. She neglected to even mention she was the wife of an apple who daily threatened her life. What went on at home, they could not know, and she wept whenever her belly would grow. Her health was always been seen as a curse, because there were four more after the first. Apple Fritter the Outcast hated for life. Apple Fritter the Outcast hated her life, the toils and the trouble of agricultural strife. She fled the new main to Manhattan and sought a new game. Had her cutie mark altered and took a new name. For a while she knew joy and happiness mirth until a fowl came to whom she had given birth. The more that she looked, the more it did bother that it her fowl looked just like her father. Apple Brown Betty was mystified and hazy, and the apples agreed as one she was lazy. One day she swallowed a mountain of cakes, a barrel of ciders, the other things baked. Her eyes heart did a flutter, splutter, and wheeze, a sure sign of dreaded cardiac disease. Despite the warnings, her intake increased, at least that is, till she made her deceased. Apple Dumpling, not all, at all like his name, was far from feeble, fa floundered, or lame, a cult of great power rivaling Big Mac, but discouraged by what he did in the sack. He loved other cults in secret, of course, and knowing his family, their prejudiced recount courses. Using the fibers, which gave him his great strength, he hung himself with a rope of some length. What came by said poor, about poor candied apple, with addictions to drugs, the poor mare did gra grapple. A needle of poke a rush through her vein, ended the horror of daily life pains. Attribute the words that Apti described, her body from substance that daily imbibes. Once fully figured, an attract of this fict, now a skeleton a reed a dried up old stick. A delicious ironic name took great sport in showing his bravery, his wit and retort. To him there was no equal, or so he claimed, and traveled the best a beast that was famed. He entered its lair, proudly showing his muscles, and from deep within the cave came quite a tussle. He never came out, and as the beast intoned, he tasted so flavorful, even his bones. Not all the apples have died or been killed. You see, Big Macintosh is overly frilled. Remaining quite calm, he snuck up behind and checked the girth of a stouted 
bit of twine wrangling Applejack's neck until the grugling ceased. Then took her mane, thick mane, for together he pieced a secret ensemble made with great care. So he could finally act and look like a mare. Apple Ale was a drunk and simply full and pure. He had a pretty young wife of Nate Natural Demir while intoxicated. So often he staggered and fell, but most of the time put her through hell. She nursed bruises, chipped teeth in a brashed and cut, and nightly endured his wily vi wild violent ruts until she became tired and greatly avel elation. Led him one left him one night after vengeful castration. Sour bones had bones to pick with all of their races. One Pegasus on Pegasus, unicorns his hatred displaced, but zebras above all others he hated. Just seeing one caused his breathing to be hate baited. Until one day he saw some what large troops of rhythm and lyric and black and white group. He he headed right over, he cursed and he spat, and was left in a heap all trampled and flat. And thus the moment ends, the story has ended. At least for now, the family extended. To some there is pity, like Babs and or, or poor Bloom. But the most they deserve, their fate or their gloom. So onwards, good readers, to find the glee, the hap that happier story will bring to thee, but remember happy stories are all a chore, because these apples are rotten, rotten to the core.